Hey guys, welcome to Living Survival. Today we're going to be talking about survival communication and uh, we're going to be talking about two-way radios and uh, a little bit fancier two-way radios like this Baofeng and what you can do on your cell phone. So stick with me. Alright guys, so for a survival situation like a bug out situation or a natural disaster in an urban environment or in a uh, woods environment can be broken down into several different communication types and we're going to explain some of the pros and cons of, of each of them. You have your cellular devices, you have your two-way radios, and then you have your uh, UHF, VHF, either scanner or uh, two-way ham radio as well. So we're going to go into uh, each of these and explain a little bit about them. All right, so first up and probably the most common would be the cell phone. Uh, you know, a lot of people have a smartphone these days, and these you can definitely use as your primary source of communication. However, if the cellular service in your area goes down, which it most likely would in a disaster situation, whether the towers go down or the service itself goes down, uh, not to mention that you do usually have to pay for the service, um, you know, cellular phone's not always going to be the greatest option. If you've ever, ever been in a natural disaster, you know that cellular service can go down quite rapidly and uh, basically makes your phone useless to uh, contact anybody else, but there are some things you can do on your cellular phone. The radios built into most smartphones these days would be the actual uh, voice communication over you know, the uh, cellular towers, things of that nature, and then also using the Wi-Fi or the data connection, you can use uh, apps like a scanner app and things like that, which I'll show you here. So apps on your smartphone are great. Keep in mind that you're going to need to have a Wi-Fi signal or a data connection, which you're most likely not going to have if you have to bug out into the woods or if cellular service, meaning the data service, the 3G or 4G goes down. But if you do have that capability in a, you know, a lightweight survival situation, you can certainly use the apps on your phone. Some require a data connection and, and others don't. So, you know, in addition to apps such as GPS and things like that, that'll help you navigate weather apps that'll help you find out the weather for your particular area. There are a few cool apps that you can use and one of those is Scanner Radio. And uh, you can see there, uh, this is one of the ones that I use now on the Apple Store or the, you know, the Android Marketplace. There's gonna be lots of different scanner apps. I find this Scanner Radio one works great. And what it does is it allows you to have favorites. You can listen to the top 50 scanners. Uh, what's cool about this one is that it'll alert you if there's a lot of people tuning in to a particular scanner. The way this works is basically you have an end user who has a scanner device that can scan the local repeaters and then they're connected to the internet and it broadcasts that way. So you do have to have an internet connection whether it be Wi-Fi or the 3G, 4G to take advantage of this. But in a lightweight survival situation where you do have access to either Wi-Fi or that data connection, it can certainly come in handy to find out what's going on around you, whether it be local police fire um, or, you know, citywide services, things like that. Great to use in a survival situation. So if I click top 50 scanners here, you can see that there's a hostage situation with a gun involved. SWAT teams arriving on scene. That's in Marion County, Ohio. So we can go ahead and just click that and play it. And it's going to go ahead and basically uh, allow you to listen in to that scanner. Another thing you can do is you can listen to nearby scanners and it's basically going to sort by uh, the scanners that are nearby you in your area as well as show you how many listeners are listening in, things like that. So it, it works great for being able to tap into what's going on around you or if you wanted to listen to something that's going on around the country this isn't based off the actual, you know, your distance to the repeater or anything like that. Since it's broadcast over the uh, the internet, it makes it so that you can tune into any repeater. So here we have. So here we have the Columbus Police Dispatch. So you can listen in on what's going on in your city. So. That makes it really cool. Again, the advantages are you can listen you know, nationwide to anything that's going on around the country. Uh, disadvantages would be that you do have to have a Wi-Fi signal or a, uh, you know, a cellular signal, a 3G or a 4G connection to make that work. 
The other disadvantage is we all know that smartphones don't last all day normally with heavy use, so you're going to be limited on battery power and things like that. The next step up in survival communication would be two-way radios. Now these are pretty much available at any sporting goods store, box store, things like that. They usually come in a combo pack with two radios or four radios and these work off the FRS system which is the family radio service. So you don't have to have a license to use these. They do come with 22 channels. Out of those 22 channels you can use I believe seven of them without a license. So it allows you two-way communication between the two radios. Great for camping, hiking, backpacking, and definitely in a bug out situation if you wanted to keep in contact with other members of your family. Disadvantage to these is range. They do advertise that you know you can get up to like 20 miles or something like that with these and uh, I've never been able to get anywhere near these. These are my hunting radios. Me and the people that I go hunting with use these so that we can contact each other throughout the woods. Probably the best you're going to get in the woods is a quarter mile to a mile, depending on tree cover and hills and things like that. But these work really good uh, to use in that type of situation. They come with features such as vibra alert, so you can turn off the beep and everything like that, especially good for hunting. You can get hands-free you know, headsets that you can put on so that you can stick it in your ear uh, so that you're listening that way and get voice activated, things like that. They usually come with different kind of ringtones and different channels and privacy codes that you can use as well. So great option for bug out bags, get home bags, giving, you know, one of these to members of your family, things like that. I per particularly use these for hunting. They work great for that in a hunting situation. The batteries last a fairly long time. You can get them rechargeable like these. These sit in cradles to recharge. They also will accept AAA batteries as well. So you can keep some charged up AAAs uh, as some backup batteries for these. But these work great uh, for that type of communication in a survival situation or a non-survival situation. These particular radios will also get, let me turn off the scanner here. These particular radios also will access the, uh, the NOAA weather radio. So if you know, you can definitely use a portable weather radio to get weather, but these will do that as well and pick up weather while you're on the go. What these won't do is allow you to listen in to local municipalities or, or EMS or fire, things like that that are going on in your area like the scanner radio on the mobile phone will. Great thing to have in your hunting kits or your backpacking camping kits. You could definitely use these car to car to communicate and things like that. Uh, but just keep in mind that you're limited on range and you're limited to just the weather and the channels between the two parties. All right, probably the best thing to have as part of your survival preparation is a two-way ham radio. This is the Baofeng BFF8. Another Baofeng that's really popular is the UV5R. Basically the way these work is they work on the VHF or UHF band. Uh, this particular one will pull in weather. You can also program this to work with the two-way radio or the family radio service without a license. Essentially if you don't have a ham license you can only use this to receive but what's nice about this is you can receive all the you know local repeaters so you can receive your local EMS, fire, police, things like that so that you can hear what's going on in your area and then you can also pick up uh, weather as well. Conditions around the area at noon. At Lansing, light rain was falling. The temperature was 65 degrees. These have a lot more features than the two-way radios with the addition of all the VHF and UHF channels, the FM channels. You can also extend your antenna so that you can get further range. This particular one works on 5 watts. It's a dual band, dual display, and it's got a lot of features such as the you know voice operated. You can get a, a, a hands-free headset as well with this. One nice thing about the BFF8 is the blacked out display when it's not transmitting or receiving. And then you also can get, um, there's the blacked out display there. And then you also 
can change up the color of the LED. I think you can do orange, red, purple, blue, things like that. Another nice feature of this radio is that it has a light, an LED light, which you can set to the on mode, which is very handy. Uh, indoors, for example, at night, you can use this to light up your area. It's also got a strobe mode. You could clip this onto your pack as you're walking around so that you'd have high visibility that way as well. So some of the more advanced features of this Baofeng would be that it is rechargeable. This will last about 12 hours on a charge, uh, even longer on standby if it's not transmitting anything. Like I said, you can get access to the weather. The chance of rain showers and isolated thunderstorms. Highs in the mid 70s. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday night, partly cloudy. A 30% chance of showers. So that's real handy to have the access to the weather right on there as well. Now again, if you don't have a ham license, you can only receive. In order to transmit, you do need that license. And this can be programmed to basically work on any channel, any frequency. However, in an emergency situation, you are allowed to use these to transmit as well. So with these more advanced radios, they have you know a, a pretty advanced menu system with them as well. You can see that you can set your uh, squelch there. You can set your, your step for your scanning. You can transmit in lower high power, um, voice activated. You can operate in wider nar narrow band. Turn the beep on and off. Um, there's a lot of different settings for you know for cutoff and things like that. You can store in frequencies or add in channels. Again, like I said, you can change the LED for transmitting and receiving to any color that you want. And there's a lot of other features in here as well. So definitely a great item to have as part of your survival preparation or your bug out bag. Uh, I use this in my get home bag. I don't have one in my bug out bag for the simple reason of is if I'm bugging out, I already pretty much know where I'm going and I'm planning on staying for an extended time. So maybe two to three days. It would probably be a good idea to include that in there. However, in my bug out bag, I'm more focused on surviving rather than needing to know what's going on around me. Uh, I think it's probably more valuable to have this in your get home bag. So if you're out and about and you know something happens either at home or uh, away from home that you'll have access to especially the local services where you can hear what's going on in the event that your cellular phone doesn't have uh, signal or you don't have access to a Wi-Fi network or anything like that that's where this is going to come in handy and especially if you have a ham license you can certainly use that for that as well so I just keep this radio stored in a Ziploc bag in my get home bag which is pretty much always in my car I keep it fully charged and I just drop it down into a Ziploc bag along with some other batteries And I just seal that up and then it goes right in the side here in my Maxpedition pouch. Now you can get, companies like Maxpedition do make uh, actual radio holders. The large radio holder works well for the Baofeng radio. But I just keep it in the side pouch there and it stays in the vehicle with me. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video on survival communication and the different ways that you can communicate in a survival situation or a natural disaster. Like I said, the cell phones work great, but in the event that your battery dies or cell service goes down, you don't have access to Wi-Fi like you're generally not going to have in especially a wooded environment. Uh, that's where you can step up your game a little bit to the two-way radios, allows you to communicate with other members of your family or people that you're traveling with, whether it's car to car or in a situation like I use them hunting where we can communicate back and forth throughout the woods pretty easily. Battery life is longer and uh, they work great for that. They also have the weather radio on them so you, so you can tune in to what the weather is doing. If you want something a little bit more advanced, great radios. The Baofeng, like I said, the UV5R or the BFF8. The one I have is the BFF8 Plus. Works great. Ham radio, you can transmit and receive. You can scan channels. You can dial into your local repeaters and things like that to get local fire and EMS 
and find out what's going on around in your area and then it also obviously has the weather capability as well. So some great options for your survival uh, preparation and great items to have in your bug out bags and your get home bags. So again guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and make sure you share it on all your social media such as Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus and Facebook. And as always guys subscribe for more videos.